Colby and Jesse from Select Harvests, two apprentices in a horticultural industry that's going gangbusters. Colby and Jesse are working with one of the most advanced companies of its kind in the world, brimming with machinery, equipment and technology, full of science, agriculture and innovation, making their mark in the Mallee region with tremendous career opportunities. Jesse and Colby are helping shape the future of a modern, progressive and dynamic horticultural industry. I done work experience um, when I was in year 11 at school and um, I come out to come out here and done work experience I liked it and they thought I was alright so they offered me an apprenticeship and yeah I've been here for two and a half years now. Colby, how you going mate? Problem mate. Oh, I think the uh, need to check the belt on the head I think it's slipping a bit mate. Yep, no worries mate. So I'm a second year electrical apprentice. My job involves just general maintenance, uh, servicing switchboards, um, just installing new equipment. How you going, Jesse? How are you going with the switchboard? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Um, had a faulty ESOP just to replace it then and just chucking the supplies back in now. Good to see you got locked out and tagged out properly. Yeah, you got to be safe, mate. Good job. Do you need a hand with anything? Uh, no, I should be right finishing up now. So, right Cheers, mate. Thanks. The Australian armament industry is expanding at the moment approximately 50% over a sort of four or five year period and obviously it's all located in regional Australia so it's important that we do bring new people and talent through through the company. Do you want to be on the move going places like them? Then consider a vocational pathway like an apprenticeship or traineeship and earn while you learn with great employers looking for talented, energetic and enthusiastic people like you. There's a great opportunity not just across farming operations, but you know we're a large integrated um, agribusiness company, um, all the way from farming through to agribusiness and marketing and processing and um, for, you know food, food science and different things. I just get a satisfaction out of fixing the machines and just seeing them out there working. And um, someone brings a machine, and it's a bit of a challenge to work out what the problem is and and fix it. When I first started, I was questioning myself a lot. I, I didn't think I was up to it, but. You just got to stick it out. You'll, you'll learn more and more every day, and the longer you stick it out for, the more confident you become. Especially in a workplace like this, you start to learn the machinery, and you, you, start, you just get more confident. We all got our chance at some stage, so to see these young people coming through with with the skills and the training is is, is great. So talk to your careers advisors, teachers, or parents, and see how far you can go today. These orchards are going to be around for 30 years or more just, just for their first generation and then there's replants and so forth. So you know, there's a career pathway and opportunities for these people for, for a long time. I didn't really know what I was going to do when I left school. I've come out here and done an apprenticeship and now you know, I've got a career. I think anyone could be an electrician if they really wanted to. you just got to put your mind to it. And it's, it's an exciting job. There's, there's always new challenges. You'll only hear good, hear good things about being an electrician. Farming, horticulture, almonds and select harvest. Yeah, it's a great industry to be, in, to be involved in and we're a great company to be, to be working for so we would definitely yeah, ask that they yeah, give it a go. Authorised by the Office of the Victorian Skills Commissioner, Level 1, 21 de Grave Street, Melbourne. Spoken by P. Jamison.